Uh, my name's Kathleen Kerwin. Um, I live here in Keyport with my wife, Catherine, and we moved in three years ago and bought this house, which has been uh, a lot of fun trying to um, clean up and, and do some renovation projects on. But we, when we first moved in, we really started uh, with the outside landscaping. And it was a good, uh, good thing to start with because it was during COVID-19 and everyone was outside during that time. So we actually got to meet all of our neighbors uh, by spending so much time out in the front yard. And we love our street. We're on Myrtle Avenue, everyone's so friendly. So it's a great community, we love it here. Um, but over the years, we basically started by ripping out anything non-native. Um, so I'm an ecologist at Rutgers University. I studied ecology. So planting native plants is very important to me. Um, native plants really help support native biodiversity. So the big focus here is native pollinators, native insects, um, and birds. So um, that's basically the goal, is to help support these local uh, populations. Front yard, we have what I like to call our pocket meadow, or a little butterfly garden. Um, that's full of native perennial flowers. And over the last three years, it's really filled in um, and like it provides so much habitat for pollinators and birds. Um, we have our veggie garden, so not, not native, but we are trying to produce some local food for ourselves as well as our chickens, which you will see in the background. Uh, I built a coop this past winter, which they enjoy. Uh, so we get eggs every day from them. That's a lot of fun. Um, and then in the back here, we are, uh, we just put this garden bed in last year and it's full of native um, shrubs, so spice bush, arrowwood viburnum, two cedar trees. Uh, and now I'm trying to slowly fill in with more flowers. So hopefully it'll uh, fill in over time um, as we can transplant some things from our front garden and just have it all fill in. The nice thing about native plants is a lot of them are, you know, pretty aggressive and they can help fill in the space. Um, and another a goal with native plants, which is not really like traditional garden beds, I'll only mulch it that one first time when I plant everything. And then I'm trying to provide kind of like a living mulch. So the plants themselves, as they fill in that space, will help shade out the weeds and hold in the moisture in the soil. So my goal is to have it just totally filled with plants, not just one plant mulch and another plant. I want it to be totally filled in. That way the butterflies have an easier time finding everything when they flower, um, and it's just better overall. Um, I want to be able to you know, find lots of different types of butterfly species and provide host plants for them to complete their life cycle. So our native insects uh, require native plants in order to lay their eggs. Um, which their larvae then become, you know, caterpillars and all sorts of beautiful butterflies. But those caterpillars are what really feed our birds. Um, so I'm trying to document, you know, species that we see. I'm not great um, at insect ID, but I'm, I'm trying my best. So whenever I see a new caterpillar, I take a photo and I get really excited about it. Um, but there's this really cool evolutionary relationship where it's just like the monarch butterfly. They require milkweeds in order to complete their life cycle. As adults, they can feed on many different flowering plants, but without that milkweed, they can't complete their life cycle. It's like that with so many uh, pollinators and native insects in general. So that's the goal here, is to provide as much habitat for them as possible so that birds, which mostly rely on insects, 96% um, of terrestrial birds rely on insects, uh, especially during this breeding season when they're raising their young. So if you have a lot of non-native plants that aren't supporting insects, it's going to be really hard to support native birds. So everything's interconnected, and I'm just trying to you know, use our small lot to help out locally with our local biodiversity, do the best that I can, and show other people how they can help as well, just by spreading the word about native plants.